Neil, let's have an injury update. How are your two midfielders looking, Manny Oyelicki and Tom Conlon? Uh, well, they've both trained this week, um, and obviously be because they've had a, a, a lack of, of game time, um, we're sort of proceeding very cautiously, I think, with both of them. I think that would be the right word, because at the moment we they've not had a, a sustained period where they've been fit, and we've obviously just got to check on their fitness daily, really, and see if they get any reaction. You've told us Christian Montano is definitely out. You've had a free week. How much time have you spent experimenting and thinking about the cover options for that position? Yeah, I mean, that's something we've had to address straight away, but, um, you know, we, we, we've got to look at other things because at the moment we've we've obviously got to consider anything because we, we're, we're going into a game where we've obviously, we, we all know we, we, we're not winning games and we're not winning games away from home. So I think you've got to you've got to be prepared to look at anything really. Um, you've got to look at why you're not winning games. You've got to look at can you make a change to, to try and get that win. I think you look at all options. Um, obviously management is easy, easy when you, you're winning games and, and you can pick a settled team but uh, we don't have that luxury and we've, we've got to look at trying to get the, what we think is the best formation for Saturday. We spoke a few times last season about trying to take the pressure off Tom Pope and if he's not in the team, where a goal is going to come from. How do you feel you look up front now with the options that you've been able to brought in? Has the pressure been taken off him somewhat? Um, well, I think it's a mixed uh, it's a mixed bag really at the moment. I think um, you know we've we've not found a, a replacement for for Tom Pope. That that's that's you know I think that's obvious. He, not that I'm, I don't mean to replace him in terms of. I only mean if he if he was to be injured. Um, very, he's a very hard player to replace because he's old school centre forward, and um, you know there's not many people around like him. And with his experience and obviously with it with the goals he's provided, um, he's a, he's a difficult player to replace. But um, I think we've found options now where um, I think if we want to make a substitution we've got options off the bench which can liven us up which possibly we didn't have last season but in terms of finding a, a regular partner for Tom I think we've we've been a, a little bit hit and miss so far and we're still waiting for 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 that to happen. You said a, a few times over the last few weeks he's played a couple of games not 100% how much does the dynamic of the team and the way you play change without him if, if, if he wasn't in it? Um, well you know, you can. We all know he thrives on crosses and scores goals from crosses. So you'd be silly to not try and be putting crosses in the box because it, every opposition team, I think every opposition manager, will always say that if we're providing crosses, then then he is a handful and he is a threat. Um, without him in the team, you've got to look to the strengths of other people who re, who replace him, and you've got to try and play accordingly. But um, you know, I, I think if you 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 get criticism if you play too much football, if you're trying to hit Tom too early, you'll get criticism for going too long. I think you, you you've got to try and get the balance. But certainly, you'd be silly to not try and get crosses in the box when he's playing. I asked you the other day about how Ricky Miller took not starting. He said he took it quite well, actually. How's Nathan Smith handled not being regular over the last few weeks? Well, with Nathan. Uh, I had a chat with him after I left him out that first game because obviously he'd had a great run of games and it's going to hurt you if you get left out. But uh, the one thing about Nathan is he trains well, he plays to his maximum, he always gives 100% and for forever, for whatever anybody thinks, he always gives 100% in terms of effort and commitment and you cannot fault him on that score. Same with training. Um, he's a great lad. I mean, I've got the highest regard for him. Um, but he's, he'll be like all players. He wants he wants to play, but he's not the type of lad that's going to give you a, a, a problem in the dressing room because he's not playing. But you know, he's always going to be involved in and around the team. And um, like I say, he wants to play like all players. But um, if he's True with himself, he's had a couple of games where he needs to do better, and uh, he needs to hit the heights he, he probably did when he was getting a lot of praise and winning a lot of awards. And if he does that, then um, 
obviously that everybody will benefit. What do you make of Forest Green as a team and as a place to go? Well, I'm obviously, they've been a non-league a lot, so I'm used to going there. The pitch is always a lovely pitch. Um, you know, it's a nice compact stadium, so I've no problems going there. It's just, um, you know, we need to get a result. And Forest Green have improved. Uh, they improved last year from January, where they were brought in a lot of players. They've continued to, to improve their squad, and I think they've got accustomed to playing at this level. So we go there now um, against a much better Forest Green and a one which is capable of doing well. Is it much better Port Vale though than when you last went there? Um, well, I can't say that because when we went there, we were, we had just had a really good month in 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 December or best best month. So we went there and found it difficult. Didn't make any chances on that day and, and lost to a goal from outside the box. Um, so I wouldn't say. It, we're, we're going there now, uh, we're, we're not winning games, whereas we went there the last time on the back of winning games. So I wouldn't say um, you know, whether, whether I think we've got a better squad or whatever. It's all about uh, confidence and I have to, to try and make sure that our players are confident when they go on, on Saturday um, and they put on a good display. But we certainly need to have more in, in, as a an attacking threat than we have now or last away again.